Despite the fact that Hearthstone has this dialogue tree of interaction. So there's no open chat when you chat to strangers, you have to use this pre-selected phrases that they give you. People still manage to be idiots. The whole purpose of that dialogue tree is to get rid of idiots so that you don't have to deal with them, that you can have a really pleasant experience. But still, people manage to do it. I don't know how people are just capable of abusing a system and making me hate them even more. So if there are people that you hate on Hearthstone because they're outright ruining your game, let me know in the comments below. There are five different kinds of people. You might be one of these people. Please stop doing it. It's just really getting to me. So here's a here's a little bit of a rant. And just please, rant with me in the comments because I'm, I'm sure you feel my pain. The first person is the person that doesn't greet although you greeted them. There's a hello button. I've come to come play with you. Acknowledge my existence because we are competing. And then they just refuse. They're like, you're not playing a bot, you're playing a real human being on the other end. We don't have to engage in any other form of dialogue past the greeting, but it'd be nice to know that you acknowledge me as a human being. The second person is the person that uses all their cards at the end of the game. Now, look, I know you've won. I'm a one health, you're on 25. I'm, I'm sorry, I suck. You don't have to discipline me for doing it. The, that kind of person is somebody that will just drop every single card that they've got in their hand, use every ounce of mana that they have, although that they all they need to do is attack me with a one one on the field. All you need to do is just like flick that one one on me and we're done. I can move on to the next game. You can have a good time, but you have to rub it in my face by using every single drop of mana you have. All five cards that you have in your hand that just happens to be left over. Dr. Boom. I know you've got Dr. Boom in your hand, bro. It's cool. You don't have to show it to me. You don't have to brag about it. Just win already. The third person is that jerk who says thank you for your blunders. I know I made a mistake. I wasn't concentrating. I was watching Attack on Titan and playing at the same time. Have you tried reading subtitles of an anime and playing card games at the same time? It's very difficult. I'm sorry. I suck and I made a mistake. I'm a human being. We greeted, remember? I'm not a bot. And then when you make that error, maybe you like buff up one of their cards, heal one of their minions on the field. They turn around and say thank you. I know I failed. I know that I've given you some kind of one up. But you don't have to rub it in my face again. There's a word for it in English, it's called obnoxious. On top of saying thank you for doing something that benefits them, they also have the audacity to drop a well play when you make a mistake. Like it's some kind of sarcastic remark that like, I'm supposed to appreciate that sense of humor. It's just me and you in the room. It's just, it's just, I, the, how many people are spectating you, but you don't have to be a royal moron by telling me that I did well or I played well when I definitely didn't. I made a horrible mistake. There's no need to give me a well play when I clearly messed up. The next person is the player who insists on taking the full time allocated to his turn to play. Maybe you're doing something else. Maybe you're watching, maybe you're doing the dishes and you decide that you want to play Hearthstone at the same time. I might be quite engaged in this game of Hearthstone. Thank you very much. And the fact that you just you just make sure that you use every ounce of time to do it. It's just negligent and rude. But the worst person is the person who does it intentionally. For example, they're losing at the end of the game, right? And they think that in order to punish me for beating them, they need to stall the whole game so that they can, I don't know, prove something or make me feel bad for winning people online. And lastly, there's that guy or girl on your friends list who insists on winning every single arena run and notifications just pop up on your feed. Like maybe, I know you're good. Like I know you're a great player. Blizzard keeps on reminding me because they have all these notifications and I'm sucking right now. I, I'm inspired. I go, sweet, you're winning all these arena runs. Maybe I should do it as well. So I could jump into the arena and I give it a go. And guess what? Nine times out of 10, I lose. And you keep on winning and then winning legendary cards every time you unpack and it's the same people the same people that are winning legendary cards or playing all these arena runs and it tells me oh your friend just won this legendary card like i don't want to hear i don't want to hear how good you are i don't want to hear how great it is because right now my experience of hearthstone just went down the toilet because i didn't win dr boo five times because i know it says so in the bottom of the of the screen Woo! i'm glad i got that off my chest <laughs> you might have seen a side of me that you don't usually see because that is the, one of the most frustrating things. If you have any experiences just like that, let me know in the comments below. Maybe you have some other ways that people can formulate being absolute morons on Hearthstone. Please let me know. I want to hear about them. I probably am experiencing them. If you're one of these people, it's time to reform. You don't have to be like that. It's time to make a change in life. Hey, don't forget to like and subscribe and check out the cards in the top right and corner of this video. Until the next one. High five a stranger. Actually be polite. High five a stranger. I'll see you guys in the next video. Adios.